Yo, it's your boy AJ. Oh my God, James Harden about to get traded. A lot of free agency free agency rumors. Kyrie to the Suns. Kyrie to the Suns. Oh man, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. You're now tuning in the Hoops World. Hoops World. I hit the streets just to get a bag. I pack, he got toe tagged. I punched the nigga for shorty. I'm John Woo with the 40. You not gang, nor the homie. I'm fine, don't bro. Me, no, you don't know me. Gang shit, members only. You wasn't there, I was lonely. You wasn't there, I was lonely. Dog nights, nice, blicky on me. I was just stacking my commas up. Head down, trying to run it up. These niggas be st- Yeah, man. So, uh, man. This was a crazy free agency. Like, it, I know free agency starts tomorrow officially at six, but it's it's getting it got spicy today. Like, we got the news, we got the Woj bomb that James Harden opted into his contract for thirty five million, but he is working on a trade. They're tr- planning to trade him. I know Sixers fans are probably feeling. If you're a Sixers fans, do you feel like this? so many like Sixers fans panicking like oh my god and then I seen some Sixers fans were like good we got rid of Harden and then some Sixers fans is like time to blow it up you know so there was like two of them beat up next yeah there's so many takes from like um Philly fans but what was your reaction when um you saw that James Harden is basically on his way out getting traded I honestly thought like I, I we originally thought that he was going to go to Houston and then that was done, and then he would. And then I thought he would come back to the 76ers because I didn't hear about any other teams that were interested. And then I saw that news, and I was like, "Whoa!" And I'm yeah. like, "Is Embiid going? You know, is Embiid gone? Who are they yeah. going to trade for? Dame? Like, yeah." And then, um, as soon as that the news dropped, we saw that it was. I think the Heat are interested, and who else was the Clippers? It was, it was the Clippers and the Knicks. The Clippers and the Knicks. But now I've seen Sham say Clippers Heat. I don't know if the Knicks are still in it, but for the you sake know the of this. Clippers are. Yeah, for the sake of the stream, I guess we'll just put them in there. Um, but my opinion is I think the Clippers are probably if I had to choose what I would want to see or what's the best fit, I think the Clippers would be the best fit. I mean, Miami is cool and everything, but I think they need more of an aggressive score. I think Harden is more of a point guard right now at this stage of his career he can still score we saw what he did he dropped 40 in game whatever two whatever it was uh, of the celtic series but he it's just a better for me i think him the the clippers have been searching for a point guard for years now like years years and years so it's like putting him on that team with Kawhi and paul george who can orchestrate the offense facilitate is just perfect you know he can stay in that 18 to 22 points that he loves Give you ten assists because you know that's a bank, and then you just get your get shots off for Kawhi and Paul and PG. He has you know a lot I mean? of he has a lot a lot of help like in like every single position too. Like yeah, and, and PG and Kawhi can play perfectly off of James Harden. Like it's like a perfect fit. It's like a match made in heaven. Yeah, and it's funny because when I when the Bradley Bill um, trade happened, I remember I texted you. I was like, "Yo, this is the super the super team era has begun because I knew." Once the Phoenix Suns did that, it changed the temperature of the NBA. Teams are going to get ready to stack up. KP we're already, trade. We're talking K, about the yeah, Clippers now. Exactly. The Suns still exist. The Suns is, is a super team. They're keeping eight. That's the top four they have. Bradley Beal, KD, Book, eight. And then you get to uh, Celtic, Porzingis, Tatum, Brown. Now you get uh, Harden possibly being on the Clippers. So it's going to be the trifecta of Harden, PG, and Kawhi. Like, this is a super team era. We're back in it. Um, but without ending my um, take on the Harden thing, I just think that if if I'm a 76ers fan, well, let's say if you're a 76ers fan right now, how are you feeling? Are you okay? Are you wanting to blow it up? I know some people said if they get a bad return for um, Harden, it doesn't make sense because they won't be able to – really compete to to for a championship with MB Maxi and some role guys, you know, some mid guys. But if you're a Sixers fan rage, how are you, how are you feeling? What do you think is the best case scenario of this hard and getting traded? You honestly have to hope that you can get somebody else in in Philly. Mm-hmm. 
originally just so you can keep him beat happy. If they don't get a star, you think it's over for the Philly? Um, ah, that's tough, bro. Yeah, because yeah. I'm still, I'm just, I'm just wondering how Embiid feels about all of this. Because yeah. if, and and plus it matter, it matters a lot. Like what Philly gets back for Harden, I'm sure you can get yeah. a solid package, but it's not going to be enough to really keep Embiid and Philly. Maybe he'll like play a few games. Maybe he'll go a little bit with the whole team and see how it goes, and maybe like request a trade uh before the deadline. Yeah. Or who knows, maybe Maxi completely takes a huge role. Yeah. And then is able to thrive with the other guys and Embiid's happy with how the team's looking. Who knows? Yeah. But I think most likely case scenario is that Embiid Embiid walks, whether it's during trade deadline or it's like off season. Yeah. Requested or just request a trade. But you're at the crossroads where it's like you get your package back for Harden and you try to give it a shot or you just and B's at his highest value of his career. Do you just make that flip, get blow it up, keep Maxi, build around Maxi and get the insane package for Joel and B. They're at the crossroads right now with that organization. Yeah, there's not mu- there's not any. I don't think there's a player with that has more value than Joel and B. Oh, my God. Like Yogi, you could get but... a crazy uh, return for MB, man. If he was on the market, it would be insane. Um, you saw but, what Gobert went for. Exactly. exactly. Uh, but real quick, the free agency news, you know, tomorrow is going to be a big day. So uh, we look at the top 25 free agents right here. Shout out to Hoops Hype for putting this out. So Kyrie Irving, Fred Van Fleet. We heard of news about Fred Van Fleet going to Houston, possibly. We'll see how that works out. Uh, Chris Middleton, we heard about the Bucks might give up Brooke Lopez. Well, Brooke Lopez might be going to Houston, and they're trying to figure out a way to keep Chris so that's going to be interesting. Um, Draymond Green has been meeting with Damian Lillard, allegedly. <laughs> Draymond Green's an unrestricted free agent. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jeremy Grant is out there. Brooke Lopez, again, Kuzma. There's been some news about Kuzma, Podal, uh, D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves. Again, Cameron Johnson from the Nets. Bruce Brown. We've heard Bruce Brown with the Lakers talks. That's interesting. If see if Bruce Brown actually goes to the Lakers, I think the Mavs are also interested in Bruce Brown. See if the, see if Russ and Harden reunite. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, a lot of things we can go. I mean, I'm looking at this list. I'm like Christian Wood is pretty good. Dylan Brooks, but what do you think? What are you probably most interested in seeing out of these uh, guys that are unrestricted free agents? Wait, Karis LeVert's unrestricted? Oh man, I didn't know that. It, it's but, just yeah. it, honestly like it's obviously not as star heavy as like maybe some other free agency classes go, mm-hmm. but. In terms of this, like a lot of these role players can determine how teams' the seasons will go. Like role players yeah. carry a huge, huge impact. So it'll be interesting to see. Like obviously, we've heard a lot of Kyrie rumors, possibly to the Suns, but it doesn't make sense from financially at all. Yeah. Some some rumor says that he's going to meet with the Suns, and another and another report says he isn't. So you don't know what to believe, really. Chris Middleton will be huge. Yeah. See what see what angle the Bucks go because if Chris Middleton's gone off the Bucks, and Brooke Lopez maybe is too. Then you have. Then who knows what that team's future is? But I think they'll keep one of them. Yeah. Um. The most and- interesting to me, like I said, the Kyrie is like, if he breaks the the NBA and goes to the Suns, it'll be insane. And then I'm I'm really looking at Houston. Houston Rockets are really fascinating to me. Like I'm like, where? What direction are they gonna go? Like, are they gonna get Fred Van Fleet? Are they gonna get some of these free agents? And there's so many different directions Houston can go. And I think they're just a, a interesting team, bro. Like to see where they do. They have the most cap space. They got the most cap space. Like, what are they going to do? There's going to be players that want to go play there too. Like, there's a lot of young Mm -hmm. talent. Amy Udoka is the coach. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be a team to watch. Yeah. Um. Anything else you got on the free agents, man? Are you? Are you? uh, I guess. Well, we. I mean, like, we'll see, man. We'll see what happens tomorrow at six. Um. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. Interesting, interesting free agency. Big moves are happening. I mean, the CBA is affecting everything, and teams are going to be making moves to get under to get under the salary cap. It's going to be, I think, a very, very interesting free agency. Um, appreciate you guys again. Hit that like button, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Hoops World Zero. Put in the comments how you guys feel about the Harden news, how you guys feel about the Kyrie news, and uh, put any other free agents you guys want to see and we should talk about um, in the comments. Appreciate you guys. We'll be back.